here with Bethany at Frederick County Animal Control right on Rosemont Avenue. And you have a, a cute little timid right now. Yes, so this is Miriam and she's one of our many terrier mixes. And she's on the smaller side, so she she's, a, she's a good, good size. Um, she's a super sweet girl, but she does need some confidence boosting. Yes. Um, so we are looking for families that have teenagers or mm. adults only. No yeah. small kids for her. Um, somebody who is familiar with her former family expressed that she doesn't really like younger kids. Okay. A lot of dogs can find them unnerving just because they're loud and they move fast yeah, and they don't really yeah. understand don't. boundaries. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, so that makes her a little bit nervous, but she has tons of potential. Um, one of the things that we've definitely noticed about her is that actually it's loud noises that really make her feel very uncomfortable. Mm. Um, she's done really well here in quiet spaces, but the kennel is very overwhelming for her with all the other dogs barking right. and the doors opening and closing. So um, a quieter family, um, you know, maybe a more uh, rural or suburban area as opposed to, you know, living right in downtown, things yeah. like that would make yeah. her feel a little bit more comfortable and relaked. Yeah. She looked to walk well on a leash. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So she knows a sit and she has recently been to a uh, puppy camp. So oh. they were not working necessarily on like the basics of good manners, but they were working more with her on her issues with fear. Okay. Right. Um, so getting her more comfortable with new people and learning, you know, what strategies works best for her to meet new people and new not just new people, but new situations, yeah. environments. Surround. Yeah, surroundings. Um, but she did really well there, but it is a rural area. It was a farm. It's yeah. quiet, so she was really loving her yeah, time there. Yeah. Well, and it's nice to know that if your dog has fear or anxiety, a lot of that can be trained away, changing things that you as an owner may be doing and giving the animal confidence somehow. So, yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of different tricks depending on what's going on with your animal. Um, you know, management is just things like, you know, keeping her away from things that scare her, right? right? right. Um, yeah. Or, you know, counter conditioning. So we're changing her emotional response to those things that maybe are fear inducing. So instead of thinking, I'm gonna see this and I'm gonna be scared because, it, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen or maybe I've had a negative experience in the past. When I see that thing now, oh, I get cheese and I really yeah. like cheese. Yeah. So you can see them get excited when they see that that yeah. person or object or environment because they know they're going to get something so you've really flipped Positive. that yeah. but all of those things take time mm. it's never like boom it's yeah, done no. you got to put that no, the work in it's not in a it. one day thing no. it's probably will take uh, you know most of her life to continually reward and and establish that and coming from somebody who's got a dog with anxiety i know for sure it's you're constantly reassuring but it's like your kid right you're yeah. not going to Get rid no, of them. No, Don't be, no. Well, maybe and, so. And it, you know, if, you're if you the, know it going in, I guess. If you're the right family, right. it's not as, as challenging. It's not an you issue. know, if you yeah. are you know, in a family that has a quieter environment. You don't have tons of people coming and going, which a lot of people are, you know, right. or if you just want your dog to be at home and in your yard and maybe go on walks and hikes, but you don't want her to go out to the breweries with you on the right. weekend, then, exactly. then it's not as going to be as challenging, but you do want to make sure that not only with Miriam, but with any pet that you're looking to add to your family, you're picking the one that fits your lifestyle. A lot of people are like, well, I want this one because I like how it looks, Look, or yeah. I want to help the one that needs it the right. most. So you want to make sure that you're going to get the one that is going to fit into your lifestyle because otherwise it could go south. Then right. we want to make sure not only the animal is happy, but that you as owners are happy and the animal is going to stay in the home. Yeah. How old is Miriam? I believe she's five to okay. six. Um, so one of our, you know, senior dogs, but not super old. Mm. Um, but she's beautiful, kind of like she fawn is. and white, and yeah. um, those great perky ears. She's, uh, she, she reminds me of um, what was the Spuds McKenzie dog? I'm not sure. She, she, like, like she reminds me of one of the dogs that we used to have, Julie, one of our longtime oh, yeah? residents, the black one. Yeah. Um, that I called the alien pig dog. She kind of <laughs> has the same same look to me. Yeah. Um, but she's up. You know, right now she's been up front as our office uh, front office dog because it's quieter up there, and she's yeah. been doing really well you know the maintenance man walked in and she was just sniffed him and walked away yeah that's um great. so you know so you guys are doing your own for form of kind of immersion therapy i guess yeah her, yeah which is you know great. just quieter so she yeah. already feels more relaxed so if someone is interested in miriam or any of the other dogs that i put the pictures up of uh that are in the entrance what do they need to do now so the best way to go about you know starting that process is to book an appointment so that's going to be at visit fcac.as.me um, you can pick you know what time works for you what day of the week 
Um, we are open Monday through Saturday with visitations later in the evening on Wednesdays. Um, so there's a lot of uh, times there, they're one hour slots. Um, and just let us know, you know, whether you're looking for a dog or a cat. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are aware that our process for adopting Hi. a dog has changed. Hey, yeah. Miriam. Um, so you're going to see like our catalog of dogs and kind of pick them out and then we'll take them to meet you outside as opposed to going back into the kennels yeah. because the kennels don't really allow them to show off their true personalities no. um, and a lot of people are uh, discouraged from you know further interactions because of their kennel behavior yeah. so a little bit different process but it's going to be a better process for the dog and for the adopters as well yeah for sure it's i mean she again and we've been out here maybe five minutes and she's already relaxing a little yep. bit she came up and sniffed me she's i think you know it is it's a different dog and it's very loud in the kennels and exciting about you guys having some construction happening you know uh i i like to keep the like oh, i'm not going to think about it so that when it happens i'll be yeah, like excited yeah, instead of like understand. oh i thought it was supposed to happen uh, xyz yeah. day and it yeah. didn't happen yet i bet um, the plans look amazing the, just what i've heard it sounds like it's going to be wonderful it's going to be nice you know yeah. you know right now the the our facility is very loud yeah um and it's not really built to have you know predatory and prey animals close to each other and that's kind of what it is you know the cats can hear the dogs yeah. the, the rabbits can smell the cats <laughs> and so it's not conducive to like a stress-free environment yeah. and the new yeah. facility is going to have more corridors so we don't have to walk through animal adoption areas to get to the front and back but also keeping them further apart with those corridors and offices and kind of buffering yeah. um, sounds so that they can feel more relaxed yeah. um, when they're here and with us. And giving them an environment that after 30 or 40 years when this building was built have come into play that people understand is the best way for uh, rescues or shelters. Exactly. Like yeah, this so is just kind exciting. of, um, you know, old school <laughs> yeah, stuff well, and we're, we're doing the best that we yeah, can. Yeah, you're but, working with what you were given, uh, right? We're definitely uh, outgrowing this facility just yeah. in terms of, you know, general office space and, you know, kennel space. Our dog population has shifted greatly after COVID, whereas yeah. we used to have a lot less dogs. We have a lot more dogs. Um, so, yeah. you know, we just need different things um, and hopefully we'll be able to get, you know, it's going to be a, a, a challenging time as we're not moving. We're right. We're You're operating within. within the <laughs> renovation. But, you know, hopefully uh, that period of, of you know, uh, oh goodness. will oh, the memory cool. of that hardship will kind yeah, of dissipate I'm once. Sure. Once we get to that space where we're, you know, in our new environment and, yeah. and everybody has things that make all their, their jobs easier. Exactly. All right, if you're interested in Miriam or any of the other dogs, go to visit fcac.as.me. Get your appointment, maybe start your application process. If you're going to need to be approved by a landlord or your home or anything like that. And uh, look, there's some great animals here and you always try. Adopt, don't shop. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.